Hello there, I'm Mikko from the Body of Christ, and welcome to another Leadership Reflection. Today we'll be discussing an interesting topic, micro versus macro, as well as building versus management. So let's start by defining these words a little bit and ex exploring the topic. So what is micro and what is macro? Um, I think easy way to understand it is that micro is like many little pieces, like small individual aspects of something, while macro looks at the bigger picture. For example, if you have a classical example, you have a forest, you know, so the macro level discussion would be like, it's a forest. What's the role of this forest in its eco environment, you know, whatever. We're talking about forests. But if we want to go into micro level perspective, we'll be looking at this tree here. Uh, we have this whole forest consists of multiple trees. And also we have these mushrooms and we have these plants here. And actually within that little mushroom there, we have this layer over here, this tower layer, this this whatever it stands on, and then we have this cap layer here. So there are many micro levels within the micro mushroom level. And then of course we can go to the worms and the soil quality and you know you can dive into depth into the levels of micro deeper and deeper. And of course you can level up in the macro level as well. Instead of looking at the forest, how about looking at the geographical region with the, you know, streams and mountains and stuff. And then looking at the earth and, you know, that sort of thing, you know, scaling up or scaling down. This example, I think is very like easy to understand physical example, but same thing in, in many matters. For example, software development, you can think of interfaces or you can think of the actual implementing code, or you can think of system architectures or um, like the whole customer use case thing that got there. Anyway, so that's kind of macro and micro. And really your starting point as a leader, I think, uh, depends on what kind of vision God gave you and what's, what's your level of operation at this time. So if you use this forest example, for example, um, Maybe you are a forest keeper and uh, you're responsible for the welfare or whatever increase of this forest here. So this would be your level of operation because this is the vision that God gave, this good forest. Of course, someone's vision might be this um, vision about this region. You know, I want this and the devotee here, and I want the tourists to come here, and so on and so forth. And their thoughts and their vision are in that level. And of course, someone's vision might be about, well, I don't know how much vision you can have with mushrooms. I guess, yeah, the mushroom colony here, that's close to their heart, the mushrooms, uh, their growth and their place in the ecosystem, and so on and so forth. So depending on the vision and where you are in your growth and in your walk with Christ and also what you call it. I don't think there's much like this is so much better than this one. It's more like where are you supposed to operate? Anyway, so that's the kind of li different levels of operation. And that's all fine and good. Now, one thing important to understand is to recognize your level of operation. So are you called to operate on this level? Are you called to operate on this level or this level or whatever? Uh, because uh, often, especially when we don't rely on people and don't draw the wisdom from the people and, and want to do everything ourselves, we are always, when we work as individuals instead of leaders, so no leading here, you work as an individual. What do you have to do? Well, you go to the lowest level of micro and you have to start, what? S digging the soil, taking care of the mushrooms and, you know, planting the trees and, and 
thinking about the watering and that sort of thing. And let's say you're called to think about this region. Might be a little frustrating. Of course, it might start that way with the little things at first. But after 20 years of working, dysfunctionally in this case, might be a little frustrating that only thing you've been working with is this mushrooms that you don't really find. They're part of the bigger vision that you have, but they're not satisfying. You don't see the results that you are looking for. You feel like you're missing up God's plan and that's so that kind of problem. Oops. Um, so when you're working as an individual, you always go to the micro level because simply someone has to do it. It always has to be done. Everything starts at the micro. Everything starts there. But if we operate as leaders and we find, surround ourselves with people, I say, uh, this is now the forest level guy here. He has a vision for the forest. And he might actually be working for this reaching guy here, but let's not go there yet. But he has found a team. He has found a various set of people who are interested in different aspects of building up forest. This guy is very interested in those mushrooms. This guy is very interested in the whatever foliage and the photosynthesis and you know whatever. And um, you know this one's interesting about places to walk within the forest. Different aspects of the vision, and you bring them together. You explain that we have vision of the forest. Are you with me? Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go. Now these things, these people at first think more about the micro aspects, but they also enable you to think about the macro aspect in this case, which is the forest, because you're no longer noticing the soil. You can think, oh, actually, have you guys noticed we have this new type of tree growing a lot around, or this guy can report it and whatever, but you can think about the bigger picture there. So you don't miss the forest by looking at the trees, so to speak. You can always focus on the forest. And these guys think about all the specific aspects. And because there are many of them, they can actually do it much more effectively. So you can focus on macro here. And this again can be in any level. This guy can be in this, the region guys team. And the region guy's vision is all about the region. And this guy's vision initially is all about the forest. So, while this guy gets to focus on the regional things, this guy gets to focus on this forest things. And both serve the common purpose. And as we go down, down line, we can get micro error and micro error. And, uh, but problems and issues can be delegated directly to the place where they uh, affect, uh, where the wisdom is needed. But within a growing organization, eventually what hopefully will happen is that this leader, as he observes this uh, regional level leader and regional level leader helps him to understand and look at the picture of like, have you considered what your forest is doing to this tree? We cannot use any type of fertilizer we want. We have to think about the stream as well, you know. And we have to think about the communities and buildings over here next next nearby. And think about also the roads, not just the trees, you know. And he teaches this person throughout the process, throughout the IPO process, check it out here, uh, to think more about, yeah, I th my, my actions have consequences within the bigger picture. Actually, this bigger picture is quite interesting. I'm starting to understand a little bit what's the, what's the big vision we're working on here. So eventually, he can start, he's actually starting to become like this leader here because he's been discipling him, teaching him everything he knows about the macro level stuff. And really, when this leader needs to go into some other organization or whatever accident happens, you know, or, or he gets promoted to something else, this leader here, he's ready to step into another level of macro. Yeah, I've been working on this forest and they're super important, but 
Now my heart is more towards this region. Previously, I didn't think about the whole thing, but there are so many important things. I cannot just leave them untended. You know, I have to do something. So now he can start leading the macro for his level, even more macro things. But of course, in order to do that, he would have to then take, do the same process here, disciple and give everything he has to these people so that they can think about the forest and not only about walking in the forest, you know, <laughs> or not only about the mushrooms, but also a lot the plants and so on and so forth. So, but now they can become the leaders in the forest level of doing things, you know, because they have started to learn, observe, think in the higher level, so to speak. Plus, now they have teams working with them and they're not forced as individuals to work on the micro level just because they're individuals. Now they have help, now they have teams, now they can even enable other people to work on those things instead of doing everything by themselves. So this way, when we apply discipleship into this leadership process, we at least enable and hopefully transition so that those things that earlier were important are now things that, hey, actually, you know, you already know this, Matti, you know, my team member. You already are very quick to handle this matter by yourself. You don't need me to think about this anymore. You can actually do this with your team. Go for it. So the forest level thinking goes into this Matti's team. So Matti's team can handle it. Uh, so this team gets to think about the region or whatever. But things become more and more macro when the organization grows. But that requires A, it requires dis discipleship, and B, it, it, it requires growth in terms of leaders and teams. So you need the leadership pipeline as well. But that's another topic. Um, and this is how today's macro can become tomorrow's micro. Uh, I think we'll pause here. In the next video, let's discuss more about this building versus management aspect, which is very close to this topic. You know, you might find it interesting and actually edifying this case. Um, anyway, what do, what do you think? Uh, have you experienced this? Have you any perspective on this matters? If possible, please share your thoughts. I would also like to learn from your experiences, your examples, your wisdom, everything that you have to bring to the table. Let's try it all to apply these processes and become more ma macro <laughs> by listening to others, by taking the wisdom and the time to understand other people's wisdom and by working together. Anyway, I hope to see you in the next video. I'm excited about it. Hope sure too. See you there.